I'm so tired. Good morning. I have big news. I transferred bases. <laughs> Take any guesses. If you guessed snowy Salt Lake City, you are right. So I am officially a real commuter. I mean, I've, I've been one because I live in Japan. <laughs> I'm just not sure how often I'll be here. So I don't know if it's worth it to get a crash pad yet. Today I have a three day trip. We're going to Charlotte. It's New Year's Eve and I get to see my mom and hopefully my husband because he has training in North Carolina and the hotel has breakfast, which is exciting. Time to get ready and get the day going. Hey guys, how do we like the gray? I'm a big fan of the purple, but I'm really trying to embrace the gray. And this is all I brought this trip, so this is what I'm wearing. transferred to Salt Lake is because my seniority is just so much better here and I really enjoyed LA I wasn't there very long literally I was there for two months but none of my trips dropped and I wasn't able to trade away that much because of my really long commute I'm really trying to make it as easy as I can on myself and that is dropping trips and flying as low as possible and I'm off a days which are reserved we have six a month and so I'm off that in Salt Lake so I thought I'd give it a shot it's a new base for me I will have to pay for some hotel Hotels, so that's a little frustrating that's the only downside but if it means like I'm holding holidays off and spend more time with like Chris and be in Okinawa then that's the goal today is like my first full regular three-day trip okay not gonna lie this morning kind of already started out like a hot mess I didn't know where the lounge was I had to find it and then I get to the lounge I sign in and it says brief at the gate so that's what we're working with and no bummer between flights right now. We went to Ontario, now we're headed back, so we have a little bit of time to kill. So I wanted to show you, this is the first time I'm on this plane, it's the A220, and it's kind of like our new Barbie jet, and we love it, and there's a really cool thing about it. Windows in the lab. Look at this uh, natural lighting, it's so beautiful. How cute is that? So, it's a loo with a view one leg back to Salt Lake and then we're off to Charlotte here we go okay we finally landed in Charlotte and my mom picked me up and it is about 10 minutes until midnight so instead of driving to the hotel we decided to go to the roof of the parking garage here in the Charlotte Airport just to see if we could see any fireworks and have a little toast Happy New Year. <laughs> cheers to 2022 <laughs> Made it to the room, it's 2022. I have a huge room, this is super exciting. We kind of already dropped our stuff, got a little Prosecco. My mom brought some snacks, little veggies, popcorn, nuts, banana. She made me some vegan meatballs, which is so sweet. Look how big this room is though, oh my gosh. So nice. Really wild and crazy New Year's Eve. Gonna eat and go to bed. That's part of the job! <laughs> That's a seasoned flight attendant right there. <laughs> In her bathroom. She watched my video. She got me new reusable makeup wipes that are like much bigger and much better at getting your makeup off. So that was really cute. Thanks mom. All I had today was a salad. And no, I did have breakfast this morning at the hotel. I'm starving. And these are the Beyond meatballs, which are really good. Cheers. Mm. Super good, mom. Are they good? What movie is it with Will Ferrell? And he's like, Mom, make me meatballs. <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? I do. It's from um, Wedding Old Crashers. Time. The meatloaf! We want it now! She was right. 
So we did a little New Year's Day brunch at Angeline's and it was so much fun and it was good to just like hang out with Chris and my mom and catch up and my mom's friend came and then now we were figuring out what to do on New Year's Day. We're at the NASCAR Hall of Fame which my mom has been here before but Chris and I haven't so we're gonna check it out. fantasy here I am falling down crashing down and I feel like I don't need you here I am falling down deep inside and I feel like I don't need you I don't think I'm very good at this vlogging thing it's wild to like film and be at work. I'm used to like traveling and filming where you have all this freedom and time and all that. Bear with me, <laughs> I'm learning. I just finished a full three legs of flying and my report time downstairs in Charlotte was 5.55 a.m. which is Eastern time. It was go, go, go. And then I was like rushing to get food in the airport and we were delayed and I am I'm so tired. I even got seven and a half hours of sleep last night. A full night sleep. I'm the kind of person that can sleep like nine hours. This is real life. This is life of a flight attendant. I know I have a lot of my faces on here and I think that's like putting a lot of pressure on me because I want to like give out this encapsulation of my life or job and want to inspire about being good to the earth. I just really don't know what I'm doing. Thanks for coming along on the ride. So here I am spending another night in Salt Lake City. For now, I'm gonna eat. Good night. Good morning. I'm in the Salt Lake City airport. I have a triple shot soy latte because I'm on day six. I have 11 days total. I'm struggling. I do fly with a friend that I haven't seen in a really long time. We're just going to Cancun and back on the, the A330. Cheers to uh, day six. I'm like sweating already. <laughs> 8 a.m. I got some vegan breakfast. Squatters is like kind of like a Salt Lake City staple. The full vegan breakfast. So they've got like a tofu scramble, um, toast, broccoli, which Lord knows I need more veggies right by now. <laughs> in my life right now. Um, the sunrise was absolutely incredible this morning and I still feel at home when I'm in an airport and I just, I love the hustle and bustle. So I was really sad they took down the Christmas tree today, like they were actually taking it down and I was just like, the holidays are over. I get back to Salt Lake City, I think around like nine o'clock tonight and then I'm going to try to catch a commuter flight home to LA, drive home, probably get home around 1 a.m., get my life back together, and then I have to come back to the Salt Lake City Airport tomorrow night. Okay, it's 1 a.m. in Hermosa Beach. This is like my home away from home. We had a 14-hour duty day today, going to Cancun and back. I am exhausted. I ran through customs and I went straight to the gate and boarded my flight to LA. I'm off to bed because it was just a crazy, crazy turn day, but tomorrow's a new day, so good night. So that next morning, I woke up with what felt like a cold, but I ended up taking a COVID test and I was positive, unfortunately. After a long week of self-isolating, I am all better now. I hope all of you out there are doing better now too because it seems like it really hit a ton of people this past month. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.